local golf cave community. This is Michelle Malaya with your tip for home. It's one of the things that um, we hear a lot about um, and a lot of my students talk to me about being able to have the right sequencing of body parts uh, throughout the swing. So many of you probably can relate to this. You might have been told in your golf career that you're somebody who sways off the ball or slides into the ball with a lot of lateral motion. And part of the reason this happens is um, our inability to work body parts independently of one another. So one of the things that we know is that the best players in the world are fantastic on their ability to move their lower body independently of their upper body. For many of us, we have jobs, we're on computers, we have kids. Um, we don't have an opportunity really to work on that skill. And this drill today is one of the best ones to be able to start to work your lower body and your upper body independently of one another. So what we want to do is we're going to take golf club and we're going to stick it really right along your hips here. Okay, and then we're just going to tilt our hips back like we're hinging, okay, um, like we're bowing towards the ball. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the golf club and we're going to put the golf club out in front of us, okay, so it's going to act like an anchor. And what we're going to do is a lot of repetitions of using our lower body, okay, independent of our upper body, you're going to feel this really in your hips and in your core, okay, and our upper body is going to stay as still as possible, okay. Our eventual goal is to be able to do that without the club for stability, okay, and be able to what? Use our lower body independent of our upper body. It's going to feel super stable and you're going to feel like you're rotating and putting pressure into your feet rather than sliding or pushing off the ball. Okay. So how, how this will look and how it's going to help your golf swing is that when we get the club to the top of our backswing, we want to be able to what? We'll let the lower body move and our upper body stay back. Okay. So after we do some repetitions, we get much better at identifying those body parts. We can also practice this we're swinging the club to the top of our backswing, pausing, allowing our lower body to start first. And if we continue this all the way through, man, we're looking like we're in a pretty good impact position there. So you guys do that at home. Stay safe out there. We'll see you at the golf cave soon.